Coral reef begins with a light sketch and partial masking, over which the inks are laid. For the masking on this piece, I'm interested in some of these uh, lighter areas, and I want to preserve some of those light shapes as the light travels across the painting, and also some of the um, fish shapes, since I know they'll be a natural focal point. So I've drawn just where some of these shapes are, and I'll be adding masking fluid to either all of these or parts of these. I want as much ink as possible to flow through the coral and kind of unify the piece, but I also don't want to lose all the lights. For these other areas, I've selected eggplant for some of our darkest parts, two shades of green, the meadow and willow for some of these greener areas, and two shades of um, pink, the mountain rose and pink sherbet for some of these other areas. And I'll be just dropping them in in kind of a blobby pattern. So this one will probably be like a graduated wash and these will should be kind of blobby and then we'll take it from there. So I'll begin by adding our blues in this area. And I'll start with the sailboat, cloudy and my aqua. I'm going to use the cotton ball to just kind of make sure I've got all the areas I want covered while the ink is still very wet. I'll allow this to dry standing up. At this point we'll drop in color for the reef, looking at some greens, more blues, some darks, and some pinks. And these I'll do with the uh, paper lying flat so that they'll just spread out. Teak wood, eggplant, willow, meadow, and I'll use the cotton ball to texture. Adding some pinks, texturing with the cotton ball, sailboat blue, I'm going to stop here. Uh, we'll be able to obviously pull out the rest of the reef and add a lot of color in this way, but I think this gives me a good start for um, a background inking. Now that our ink layer is dry, it's time to remove the masking fluid, and I'll do that just by running my finger over, over the masking fluid. And on this piece, I'll have to kind of figure out where I put the masking fluid. Okay, I think I've found all the masking fluid, and I'll begin by just um, bringing in all the coral. That's the whole, I guess, point of this piece. And I think I'll start with some actual um, texture done with some splattering, probably of some alcohol and maybe some um, metallic ink at this point. And I'll just try to um, get some of the textures going. So this is the toothbrush and some alcohol, and there's still a bit of gold on here, but um, since I probably want to put some gold on anyway, I'm just going to use the alcohol. I can clean my brush and splatter alcohol at the same time. I'll stop here with the alcohol and not do the gold. I'm going to begin by lifting out some of these shapes and just with the alcohol and go around and try to um, you know create some definition to this reef. I've moved my setup a little bit to put the alcohol over on the right side and sometimes you need to think about where you put the alcohol. I've had plenty of times where I've spilled it all over everything. At least this way if it spills it'll probably spill just in here.
This has the same effect as um, also just kind of blending in the masking fluid too. Switching over to the pointy swab to do some of this texturing might be uh, just a little bit quicker. Since I used kind of a random um, inking pattern, I'll have to kind of move some of the reef features around to match what I inked. On this piece of coral, I'm just worried about the top of the coral. The bottom of it is going to be very dark and in shadow. So we'll just lift out some of this top part. At this point, I'll start adding in some of the darks. And this is the eggplant. The ink is thickening up, which is letting us do almost a more dry brush technique and giving a little bit more control. Okay, I think this is pretty good for a first pass at the darks. Now I think I will um, add some ink to some of these pieces of coral. For this piece of coral, I'm going to use a combination of the Cool Perry and the Sailboat Blue. This is the Cool Perry. I might be able to pick up enough sailboat just from what's already on here. This is the pointy swab. I'm going to blend back into the blue here. For the greens in here, I picked up some willow and clover. to add some more of the greens up in this area. Now I'll do the same thing for the pinks. This will be the pink sherbet. For this next phase, I'm going to switch to the markers and I've selected a bunch of markers in compatible colors. And again, this can always be done with the brush, but for some of these smaller little details, if you have the markers, it's just a whole lot easier. All right, I think this is too light, so we're going to um, darken it here. I'm going to use the marker. Let's see if that will. And we'll get some darker color in anyway. This is the brush and some alcohol. And the cotton swab. This stage, I'll add in the fish. And since I've got the markers out, we'll just use. Um, some markers on the fish. They're, I'll probably come back with the brush, but I'll lay in the initial color. So I've got this fairly bright yellow and I'll use that for the little tails. And this was that bright blue. I'll use it for some of the um, bodies of the fish. This is a gray marker. I'm 
gonna use the brush and alcohol and blend in all that markery stuff. Adding in some darker areas on the fish. And blend the fish in a little bit with the cotton swab. I'll do some ink splattering now. This is a gold ink. I'm going to use the sepia pen and begin to uh, add some details and a little bit more controlled structure through some of these areas. to use the pen to define some of the edges on this. I found some darker red markers. I'm going to try to amplify some of the color through these areas. This is a Q-tip or an alcohol. This is a little bit more orangey of a red. I'll try adding a little bit of that in there too. Use the brush and soften some of these. This might be more easily done with the cotton swab. I think I'll take a moment to kind of blue up our fish. And I found this um, indigo ink, which I think might be a nice color blue to try. I'm going to use the alcohol and blend that dark blue in. I'll lighten them a little bit more with the pointy swab. And our fish have some black areas on them, so we'll use the black pen to add those in. Do a little bit of uh, lightening with the white pen. Now look at adding some white to the fish. I've been looking at this piece and while I like a lot of the textures and the design of it, I feel like the color is more subdued and that the ocean is so vibrant and exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in just little bits of more fun color throughout it. I've picked out some inks that I think are, are attractive. This is the Mermaid and Pool, Citrus, Sunshine Yellow, Sunset Orange, Purple Twilight, and Wild Plum. And I'll just put little dots of them throughout the piece. with alcohol and the pointy q-tip to make sure we have our lights. A 
little more work on the fish. And here is our finished coral reef.